Welcome to this lesson by the Autopilots. Today we are looking at engine failure in the cruise. This is a scenario which requires memory items, e-cam actions and a QRH checklist. This lesson is split into a theory part and a practical part, which also includes a one-engine approach. To skip straight to the practical, skip to this time. We hope you enjoy this lesson. Welcome to this theory part of engine failure in the cruise, presented to you by the autopilots. In this lesson, we will be looking at causes of engine failures in the cruise, memory items, the two main strategies, the QRH procedure, and additional considerations. Let's jump in. Although rare, engines do fail in the cruise. There are several explanations as to why these take place, but some of these include mechanical issues, icing of the engine, or a fault that leads to engine shutdown, for example, low oil pressure. An engine failure in the cruise procedure involves some memory items to carry out following the failure. Remember this can happen at a time of very low workload in the cruise. Therefore, it is important that you revise your memory actions. We will now look at the memory items for this scenario. Following a failure in the cruise, the pilot flying must move the thrust levers to MCT, disconnect the auto thrust using the instinctive disconnect button, set a heading that is appropriate and off course, find the engine out recovery altitude in the MCDU. This is done by clicking on PROG. Set the speed target, depending on what strategy, this will either be Mach 0.78, or 300 knots, or green dot. And finally set the engine out recovery altitude. Then PF can ask for the ECAM actions. We have noticed the Phoenix SIM commands for green dot speed in this scenario, this should be ignored, unless you are doing the obstacle strategy. There are two strategies that can be followed for this scenario, standard strategy and obstacle strategy. The standard strategy is the most common, whilst the obstacle strategy is used in case of terrain which is higher than the long-range cruise ceiling for one engine inoperative. The goal of the standard strategy is to safely get to the long-range cruise altitude in order to attempt to relight the engine. A speed of Mach 0.78, or 300 knots is chosen to ensure the aircraft is within the stabilized windmill engine relight in flight envelope. The strategy is as follows. Thrust lever, set MCT. Auto thrust, off. Heading, set and pull. Find the engine out recovery altitude on the PROG page, ATC, notify. Then set and pull the speed, and pull the altitude knob for open descent. If at any time the vertical speed goes below 500 feet per minute, then adjust this using the VS knob. Once at the selected altitude, manage speed. The goal of the obstacle strategy, or drift down, procedure, is to maintain the highest possible altitude due to terrain. For this reason, the speed target is green dot. The strategy is similar to the standard, except the rate of descent will be lower. The QRH procedure can begin when the initial actions have been completed and the aircraft is at the long-range cruise altitude for one engine inoperative. The QRH starts with a diagram showing what kind of engine relight you will have. This is more for crew awareness, it does not change the kind of procedure you do. The second part of the QRH procedure is a checklist to relight the engine. It is a read and do by the pilot monitoring except for the thrust lever management, which is done by pilot flying. If there is no relight, then the engine is to be switched off, as detailed in the QRH. There are a few things we have to consider when we have an engine failure in the cruise. We have a land ASAP in amber. At high altitudes, the speed will drop quickly with one engine inoperative, therefore speed control is vital. Fuel imbalance. Depending on how long the procedure is, you will most likely have to use the QRH, fuel imbalance, procedure. Remember to restore the fuel pumps afterwards. And the APU is available to be used to supply a C1 or 2. Before we jump into the practical demonstration, let's summarize what we have learned today. It is essential to get the memory items correct. There are two strategies, standard and obstacle. Watch the speed control as this reduces quite quickly. 
Do not attempt to relight if the engine is damaged. The long-range cruise engine out ceiling is approximately flight level 240. Fuel management is essential. And you are Cat 3 single. Okay, now let's begin our practical demonstration. You will see we apply what we learned from the theory in our simulator. MCT flashing on PFD. Engine behavior looks abnormal. That's checked. It looks like we have an engine failure. Setting MCT. Engine failure confirmed. MCT set. Performing memory items. Checked. Heading. Checked. Engine out recovery altitude is flight level 247. So flight level 240 set. Open descent, 240 blue. Checked. Speed set Mach decimal 78. Checked. Begin ECAM. Confirm the failure. Engine 1 fail. This is confirmed on the engine warning display. N1 is at 12%, and also on the overhead panel with the associated fault lights. Checked. My radios, ECAM actions. Engine mode selector. Ignition. Thrust lever 1. Idle. Confirm thrust lever 1. Confirmed. Idle. Engine Master 1. Off. Confirm Engine Master 1. Confirmed. Engine Master 1 off. If damage. There doesn't look to be any damage given the indications, would you agree? Yes, I agree. If no damage, engine relight, consider. Clear Engine 1. Clear. Engine 1, shut down. Clear Engine 1. Clear. Secondaries, the bleed page shows that the associated systems have also failed. There is no bleed pressure being provided from engine 1. Clear bleed? Clear. The ELEC page shows that Gen 1 has also failed as a result of engine 1 failing. AC bus 1 is being supplied by Gen 2, which is also supplying AC bus 2. We have the APU available, shall we start it? Yes, I agree. Starting APU. Clear ELEC? Clear. Status. Stop ECAM. No OEBs. No resets. There is an expanded checklist in the QRH for engine relight in flight. We can look at this later. Continue status. If performance permits, cross bleed open. If no engine 1 damage, consider engine 1 relight. One pack only if wing anti-ice on, cat 3 single only. In op systems, cat 3 dual, engine 1 bleed, pack 1, main galley, generator 1. Remove status. Remove status. Status removed, ECAM actions complete. APU is online. Okay. Let's look at the QRH procedure, engine relight in flight. Roger. We are approaching 24,000 feet, and at 300 knots, so we shall be doing a stabilized windmill relight. Engine master, off. It's off. Thrust lever 1, idle. It's idle. Engine mode selector, ignition. Ignition set. Cross bleed, open. Cross bleed, set to open. Wing anti-ice, off. It's off. Engine master 1, on. Confirm engine master 1. Confirmed. Engine parameters, monitor. We have out on the FMA. Checked.
the engine relight has been unsuccessful. Continue with the QRH checklist. If no relight, affected engine master switch off. Confirm engine 1. Confirmed. Engine 1 off. QRH checklist complete. Master caution. Read e -cam. Engine 1 shut down. This is as expected. My radio's ECAM actions. If no fuel leak, fuel imbalance, monitor. TCAS mode selector, TA. Clear engine 1. Clear. Secondaries show the bleed page. The cross bleed is open now so supplying both packs. On the ELEC page, the APU generator is supplying AC bus 1. Status remains unchanged. Remove status. Status removed. ECAM actions complete. Okay, it seems we have a fuel imbalance. Please perform the QRH procedure for fuel imbalance. Roger. The QRH procedure for a fuel imbalance is fuel on board, check. Fuel cross feed, on. Center tank pump 1, off. Center tank pump 2, off. On the lighter side, fuel pumps, off. When fuel is balanced, we will put the fuel pumps back on and turn the cross feed off. Now let's look at an approach with one engine in operative. This will also be covered in other lessons. But here is an example of how one can be flown. We have selected a flaps 3 approach to reduce the drag and thrust required from the engine, especially if we need to go around. However, this approach can be done in flaps full as well. Speed, Alt Star, Lock Star. Checked. Gear down. Speed checked, gear down. Speed managed. GS star, flaps three. Speed checked, flaps three. Landing checklist. Cabin. Secured for landing. Go around altitude. 5,000 feet set. E-cam memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete.
1,000. 1,000 feet. Check. Five hundred. Five hundred. Stable. Check. Autopilot coming off. Hundred above. Minimum. Continue. Checked. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Thank you.